The hunt tonight continues for a driver involved in a terrifying high speed crash in Kaneohe. Just before four this afternoon, the truck veered off of Kahekili Highway near the Valley of the Temples, taking out two light poles in the process and nearly hitting head on with other cars traveling in the opposite direction. Now, check this out. Despite that car tumbling and rolling and rolling several times, the driver somehow managed to get out and run away before police arrived. And so far, police have not given out any details about the driver. But we do know the truck was stolen. And Bridget Namata tracked down the truck's owner tonight for an interview you'll see only on KHON 2. Bridget. Dash, the family tells me they learned it was their truck when they watched our dash cam video. The Gonzalez family tells me their truck is always parked in front of their Ina Haina home. They discovered it missing this morning. They filed a police report and have no idea who could have stolen the truck. Police tell me there were reports of a stolen vehicle in Wahiwa. That's where the pursuit started. The suspect caused an accident by Kualoa Ranch and continued driving before crashing on Kahikile Highway. He narrowly missed multiple vehicles before smashing into two light poles. Alfredo and his son Edson says there was no question it was their truck in the video. The truck has these metal racks and we had like some material, some drywall on the back and we saw both the things fly in the video. And no, there's just a lot of distinct characteristics to it and it, it, we're just baffled. <laughs> well, yeah, I was surprised. I, I was like, what? No, no way. That's different throw. And when he showed me the video, yeah, that's the throw. And so I was surprised. It just seems surreal. It's like a movie. Like, th this doesn't happen. <laughs> and more, like, less to us. Like, we're just shocked. Ah, can't, can't even put it into words. It's just crazy. A helicopter flew overhead. Multiple police officers, including SWAT and the K-9 unit, searched the brush surrounding Kahikile Highway for the suspect. The crash caused traffic backup for hours. The Gonzalez family tells me police said they have their truck, but it's currently being used for evidence. The road is reopened. The search for the driver continues. Dash.